right what's going on guys optical 20 here as you all know i love my games guardian pro xp but i, I think i'm gonna return it and um the reason being is i got top three that um it just i just didn't like it you know especially maybe it if maybe because of the price point and it's not its fault that it's expensive i guess it is but you know initially i liked it but as i as i use it i see the shortcomings that it does have and uh for the price that i paid for this i think i wanted more but instead i um actually got less so let me list you i guess just the top three i have more which i'm gonna say later on as well but this is the top three that really bugs me when it comes to games guardian pro xp all right so my number three reason of why i'm gonna return this and it might sound petty to some is that the lack of mute button it also doesn't have a remote now you're asking why the heck would that bother you i mean it's right in front of you when you're playing games um this unit you're, you're you're sitting in front of it anyway now let me tell you why because there are games where i don't want to use headset you know like because uh, i don't want to get freaked out for example resident evil um uh you know last of us and all that stuff because it has this little noises that <laughs> that just freaks me out okay so in those cases this is fine uh the games i mean the sound coming off the games guardian pro which is it has an excellent sound you know sound system in here compared to the sentinel it's not even a, a competition however when you start to stream and the sound is coming from here you gotta mute it because there are games where let's say call of duty for example you know i don't play let's say uh, resident evil all the time when i try to play call of duty you know i use my astro headset now when you use your astro headset the the sound comes out of the astro and this guy and games so now you got two sounds coming off now the sound of this is coming from here and then the speaker behind here the problem is i really do have a small space that when i'm streaming my microphone is right here so you can see this is my laptop when i start streaming the um the audio it picks up so now there's going to be an echo because the sound's coming from here the sound's coming from the uh uh, from the game in here and then there's another sound from uh the elgato which is a video capture card so there's now for me to remove the sound here i gotta hold this and you can hear this how loud it is now if it, the volume is on 50 i gotta press that 50 times or just hold on it and that is really annoying i don't know those little things that sentinel has as a mute button i don't understand why it doesn't have a mute button so th those are just one of the few quirks that kind of like it's six hundred dollars it's seven hundred dollars mute button and supposedly this unit was for streamers so yeah that's that one thing that bothers him it might apply it might not apply to you but i'm just saying like if this is if you're if you're gonna buy this you might run into this kind of problem as well all right second issue that i do have if you are streaming so most likely you know you're using a laptop if you're streaming using your console you're probably using a laptop probably you know you could be using a desktop but since i got games the reason i got games is so i can move around freely easily so if you do have uh games in the laptop here you know you got this behemoth of a monitor right it's huge it's a lot bigger than my laptop my laptop is like what 15 inches this is 24 if it's not in use i would love this to be a second monitor for my computer you know if i'm browsing or maybe if i'm just doing a live stream with youtube so typically what you would do is you would get uh, an hdmi and just connect it from the hdmi coming out here in your laptop all the way to your monitor here the problem is i don't know if you can see it here okay so this is the problem is that the hdmi could have been here but no, it's all the way down there. So for you to reach that, especially if you're in a tight space, now I'm, I'm a lot freer because I remove the, I, I normally do have a, uh, like a lap, uh, um, a camera in here. So it's a lot easier for me to maneuver now. But once I do have the camera around this side, now I gotta reach from down here, gotta remove this USB port, take this out, get another USB from the back and put it here. They could have easily put the HDMI here or hey, 
it's seven hundred dollars why don't you do two hdmis like a normal monitor if you buy a monitor right now a 4k monitor from anyone gaming lg uh, uh it's you know samsung they always have two hdmi in so i don't understand like you make this beautiful monitor yet you only have one hdmi in i do appreciate the fact that they put an hdmi out in the back for you know streaming because this is for streaming but this this monitor is, this, they, they said this is they have the streamers in mind however they didn't factor in that maybe you want to use your laptop as well to <laughs> your laptop to have a secondary screen using your big ass monitor so you know that's just another point there and now probably the worst thing that bothered me the most and this is not games fault um i just want to zoom out here just to let you know that i am still using the games guardian pro xp here uh i know this before buying this uh, this machine and i know it's 700 dollars. and i never thought that it would bother me as much as it bothers me now when i got this when i played it for the first week it was fine you know i was having fun the the colors are great you know the the visuals are great but once you get to the uh once you think about it and you start adjusting you see this resolution right here it's automatic uh i'm gonna zoom in a little bit here 720p yeah it's for ps4 pro it's unsupported now maybe ps5 would support 2k maybe all right so that would be nice uh i never thought it was going to bother me as well as you can see hdr is off you put automatic your tv does not support hdr cool you know i mean not every game supports hdr anyway i just hdr does not support hdr the even the deep color output if you put automatic does not support deep color output so all you can do is do a super sampling which is if your uh, your tv or in this case games is 2k resolution or, or lower um that bothered me after a while because this is 700 dollars even if you use their discount right now for 15 percent the monitor that i bought that i just reviewed which is the asus has all the bells and whistles a bigger screen it's 27 inches and uh it has 4k and hdr and it's half the price and it, i don't have to mute it uh i don't have to click a button i don't have and one more thing if you turn this this playstation off so it goes on standby mode right so the tv turns off by itself i technically it does if you do this uh enter rest mode so i'll go into rest mode so the uh the playstation is going to be off and so as games and it's not a big deal so it just goes off the problem is once you turn on the playstation the games doesn't turn on so you gotta click this 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 power button every single time again it's not that big of a deal however you know once you factor in that you paid every every single time you get reminded that you paid 700 dollars for this thing uh I, I mean for me at least almost 700 because i got it on sale and uh, with the tax and everything it just kind of adds up and you're like why did i do this why did i exchange a typical normal monitor for this thing where i don't have to switch hdmi consistently i don't have to press you know the this button and i only pay half the price if it's the same price i don't if this was 400 dollars at least or 450 i probably wouldn't mind as much this quirks that i'm, I'm complaining about right now but the fact that you know i this is twice the price of these lg that I'm, I'm i'm looking at right now and that lg is 4k with hdr 10 so i might get that return this at best buy just pay the 15 dollars i mean 15 percent restocking fee um it just and this rail that they have in here it's uh it's a gimmick it's pretty useless to be quite honest with you because this is only good if you're going to mount an a, a, a camera like those uh, not camera but those uh this webcams the, the cheap ones but if you're mounting something like a canon m50 like what i'm using uh right here i mean I, you, you can't really see it but it's uh yeah it's not gonna work out but there you go guys so that's just my three things i can actually list five more that I, that kind of bothers me with this guardian pro xp as much as i love the thing i love it but the price keeps hunting you back once you get it uh if you can get past the price and and its limitations i guess it would be okay but for me i always want uh, the bang for my buck so i'm gonna return it if you want to keep yours if you're pl planning on buying one just just keep that in mind because the things that i 
that bothers me might not bother you. So keep that in mind. And, um, you know, good luck if you're planning to purchase this. If you already have this, I hope you had fun. You know, I, I hope you don't experience the same problem as I do. But um, yeah, again, thank you for watching, guys. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel. Click that, that like button. And I will see you guys in the next video.